Well, welcome back there, friends. I want to share with you my experience at the Tampa RV Show, supposedly the largest RV super show in the world, or at least in the U.S. Um, it was kind of hot when I was there, and if you're going to go shopping for an RV, it's probably a good place. There's some videos out there by other YouTubers on techniques to get the best price possible on buying an RV. What I was looking at was just trying to uh, recently on these little weekend or overnight ex excursions that I've been going on, um, just missing my teardrop as far as a grab and go camper. So my favorite at the show was the Luna Rover. And that was a brand by Intec Luna Rover. And Intec, apparently there's an aeration in there but they're a race car trailer company. But overall they are a little expensive but I think you're getting good quality for what you're paying for. Um, I'd probably look at one of those over a new camper or tab, even just because of the build quality and just the, the general feel. They're kind of space agey and modern, almost Euro. Great windows. I looked at the one teardrop. It was out of control. It had a fireplace in it. I mean, you can't go wrong with a fireplace in a teardrop. So uh, that's my favorite product that I saw at the show. I looked through a couple of the retros. It had a nice layout. Um, and, and if you've got a cargo trailer, you could probably build one out and, and, and mimic some of the some of the little campers. There's lots of people walking around talking to cameras at the show, and I wasn't really there to tour campers as much as I was just to look around and, and uh, get the overall feel of that. I think the best experience if you're going to the RV show is going to be um, with a group of friends if you're not RV, sh RV shopping at the show. This one looks a little familiar. It's Lantern One, the new version, 202RD. Go inside? Okay, come on. All right. So in mine, I did put the longer mattress in, but you can walk around here. Ooh, nice uh, color scheme in this one, kind of cool, cool look. A little different hardware. Uh, they got rid of the double bowl sink and went to a single. About the same amount of under cabinet storage as Landed One. A little bit different on my on your backs here. I've got just a solid piece. They actually shortened the cabinet space and moved the TV mount over here. My cabinets go all the way to the end. So you're losing some storage in the new one. It's got these awful curtains that will fall apart within uh, six months of you buying it. Still a little different jackknife sofa. Still got the Norcold. Obviously I added storage to mine. It's a very similar layout. Bathroom's about the same. They moved the vent to over the bath tub slash shower. Mine is right over the toilet. Very similar though, very similar. Adventure Dog, forward. This is what the Adventure Dog loves. The show. Smell every other dog that's been at the show. All right here, retro. Nice fridge by the door. Looks like a jackknife sofa, your bed, and your bath. I'm towing the adventure dog by a leash here, so we'll see if I can do this without pulling her in here. Overbunk storage. Nice. It's got a little dry bath in it. It's actually kind of a nice setup. So here's the other one. Jackknife sofa, which like if it's like mine, it's really uncomfortable. Similar setup, darker colors. So I'm looking at the retros and I didn't realize they had a uh, 
toy hauler. I would look at a toy hauler if it had good storage or I thought I could take out take out these side beds and bunks and use it for uh, outfit it myself. I could put a couch in it or something like that. So pardon my quick turns there. The adventure dog likes to wrap around me in circles while she's tied to my belt. Walk up here. Nice fridge. It's like a almost small domestic style house fridge. Looks like a queen. The window. You can actually hang clothes in this closet. There's your tie downs, but not a ton of pantry space, but you know, obviously if you're hauling toys in it, it's great. Or if you're thinking about taking this stuff out and making this a big living space, you could do a lot with that and add storage. So always an option here, toy haulers. Fit and finish on this one's a little nicer with the uh, dinette. Huge window, double pane windows. I was just talking to the salesman. He's actually from home up in Canton. And uh, look at that big window. Talk about airflow, nice fixed bed. These things are great. You could full time in these. So sitting in Norma, the Yukon XL, uh, the Adventure Dog and I are enjoying the benefits of a little cooling action of our air conditioner. Uh, the show is pretty pretty warm today, and the dog is a darker color, so she does get really hot. And uh, I was sweating profusely out there, so I went through some Gatorade and some water and. Uh, Grabbed a $9 uh, Philly cheese cheesesteak sandwich. It was pretty good. I'm looking to get in a burger or something when I go over to the uh, meetup tonight with uh, less junk, more journey, Morton's on the move, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's literally like right across the street here from the fairgrounds. So that's at 6. It's about 3 o'clock. Um, to sit out here, maybe take a, a quick shut eye nap for like a half an hour, hour, and possibly go back into the show and look around. Uh, the Adventure Dog doesn't get upstairs so well the last couple months just because of some old uh, reoccurring things that keep happening with her. So it's kind of a um, challenge for her to get in and out of some of the RVs. But other than that, it's, it's been a pretty good show. Um, I think it would be more fun if I had uh, some of my YouTube friends like the Shrags or something along with me. It looks like they had a good time up at the IX Center in Cleveland. But uh, um, a lot of people walking around talking to cameras. Um, kind of interesting. And uh, that's about it. So care about Dave. And I will be back at you here from inside uh, inside the show shortly. Dixieland, with a blues, with a Cajun vibe code. If you want to listen to a sky track, they're behind me. Here they go. All right, we've got some rovers, which are small ones, so we're going to check out the little ones. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, very space age. Oh, check out this window on the front of this guy. Okay, it's got a fireplace and a TV, air conditioner right here in the back. Fold down beds. This is actually... All right. This gets two paddles up from Caribou Dave here on this, on this guy. Pardon the light here. Nice. Nice kitchen, Dometic fridge. It's got a nice deep sink in it. Yeah, this is this is a weekend camping machine right here. I would do one of these in a minute. So it's an Intec Luna Rover, eighteen thousand dollars, but
It's got aluminum roof, aluminum sides. This is the other side here. That's all window. It doesn't look like it opens up, but it does have a shade. It doesn't have a lot of uh, storage, but you could probably add some stuff pretty easily. So uh, they're based out of Indiana. They right. build race car uh, trailers. And they took their engineering knowledge and their what they do, and they built, they made them all aluminum frame. And my understanding is this is the only company that has that in the, that you can buy in the state of Florida. Nice. Is it? It looks like it's all aluminum roof and everything too. The whole thing's. Uh, the PV, actually, it's a. Uh, what is the roof? This one may be aluminum. I I was tapping on it, so that's what I was trying to guess. Come on. It's all good. Okay, it, it's, it's a nice, I mean, it, they're pricey, but I mean, it looks like, you know, you're getting pretty good quality. Oh, absolutely. So. suspension. Yeah. Uh, this one actually has a lift on it. So yeah. So that you can go off-road. And, uh, cool beans. Yeah, really a nice, they're nice units. Okay, so we've got a toy hauler here, Luna. You can actually go inside this one. A little short. <sighs> Bump out bed. It's kind of cool too. Toy hauler. This is the Soul Horizon 30, yeah, 29.9 here at the show. And microwave, little fridge. All right, here we're inside. Nice sink cover on the stove, or on the sink stove. Nice big deep sink. Nice cabinets. There's a TV in there. Kind of Euro look. <laughs> it's got an RV door, RV door on the bathroom. Wet bath. Not a fantastic fan. Nice. Well, it's got an RV door on it because it's uh, waterproof, I guess. Look at this window. I wish this window opened, but yeah, these things are these things are pretty sweet. Solar Eclipse. I think we looked at this one, but same big window. Front kitchen, mid bath. Cabinets in your Heading out of the Tampa show here and just looking at all the bees parked over here, the other campers. I think that's the the reason to come to hang out with all your uh, all your friends. 